your heart is racing. You catch yourself daydreaming about what the next opportunity will bring. You just spent an embarrassing amount of time picking out that perfect outfit. And finally, perfecting the answer to that dreaded question. What, what are, are you looking, looking for? for? No, you're not getting ready for your first date. You're actually getting ready for a job interview. Scary enough, dating is remarkably similar to the job hunt. And while we can't help you out in the dating world, we can share the tips we've learned as Equifax matchmakers on how to better prepare for the interview and stand out from the rest. Whether you apply through a job board like LinkedIn or on Indeed, or even our career page, it's gonna send you to the same application. The application itself, it's pretty standard gonna ask you for basic questions like contact information and ask about your job history and then of course ask to attach a resume. After you hit that submit button, check for a confirmation email because that means it made it through our system correctly. Like matchmakers, we want to get to know you on a deeper level. Resumes don't always paint that full picture of a candidate. On top of your background and experience, be prepared to answer questions like what has you considering other opportunities? What type of work flexibility are you looking for? Is it hybrid, remote, or on-site position? And finally, what are your compensation expectations? Transparency is key here for me as a recruiter and for you as well. If you wanna be more comfortable discussing this topic, make sure you do your research on average salaries. And if your target expectations don't fall in line with ours, that's okay. Let's look at other opportunities that do. Dress for the interview. Even if it's virtual, dress like it's an on-site. Not only will this impress your interviewer, but when you look good on the outside, you feel good on the inside too. Do your homework. Make sure you review the job description, practice introducing yourself, and also include a quick elevator pitch. Familiarize yourself with the company website. Learn about our leadership, read about our culture, and even maybe read up on some news. This could help you prepare for questions at the end of the interview. We recommend looking up your interviewer's LinkedIn profile. It'll give you a better sense of their experience and background too. And bonus points if you send them a connection request. And last but certainly not least, if your interview is virtual, test the video and audio quality before your interview time. While we understand technical glitches do happen, this isn't putting your best foot forward if the interviewer cannot see you or hear you. And don't take your interview in the car or in a public space. Make sure you reserve a quiet space for you and the interviewer. After the interview is over, don't forget to send a thank you note, whether it's by email or LinkedIn email. We will follow up with the hiring manager and get back to you within a few days regarding next steps. And if you've not heard back from us, please feel free to reach out. And remember, an interview is never a waste of time. And if you aren't selected, don't give up. You never know what's waiting around the corner. After all, you have to kiss a few frogs to find your prince or princess. <laughs>